Good morning, and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. I'm Jack, and today on the channel, we've got two new surprises. Well, two new things that are coming to the woodyard. Stick around. Well, here's the uh, first of the surprises. We've got Mr. Brad with firewood at the furnace bringing us a load of logs. And I asked him if he could set them in the driveway for me rather than dumping them because over the years my driveway has been taking a beating. And he said, absolutely, I could stack them wherever you want them. So this is, uh, this is pretty cool. This will uh, definitely keep us busy for a good while. The first two of a few. Some big old logs. Well, just like that, Mr. Brad from Firewood at the Furnace has unloaded this beautiful load of ash and hickory, which is great because uh, I'm running out of bundle wood and I needed some stuff that would uh, season pretty quickly. But the uh, surprise to the channel and the new toy that we have is this beautiful used Easton made axis. Now you guys might recognize this one. No, it's not Brad's, but this one actually came out of Ohio. This was Ohio Woodburner's old machine. If you followed along with all the YouTube channels from the International Firewood Expo, you may have noticed that Andrew took the new version of the Easton made axes up there and left that with Joe and then hauled this one back. Well, after that show on Saturday, I got two phone calls. One from James Baton. He said, hey bud, I know you're interested in an axis. Andrew just pulled one home from Joe's. You should probably call him. And I was like, eh, you know, whatever. I, I got other stuff I'm looking into getting. I don't know if I need an axis right now. So into that conversation, 10 minutes later, Don Scheib calls me. He says, hey, bud, I know you want an axis. You should probably call Andrew. Well, and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll think about it. And then uh, my good buddy, Matt, Lily's Farm and Firewood, messaged me. And he said, hey, you know, you should check out GP Outdoors' video. I don't know if you've seen that yet, but Andrew took him a new version of the axis and took his old one home. Message him and see what he's doing with the old ones. And I said, you know what? That's three people that brought this up to me. Maybe the stars were aligning for me and let me uh, shoot my shot. Now, I originally wanted to do business face to face. I do not like doing business through a text message or an email. Uh, it's very unprofessional in my opinion. I know there's a lot of businesses that operate strictly through email and text and all that good jazz. But when you're looking to purchase something, I feel like it's better to do it face to face. You can't feel emotion through text. 
There's there's no way. I mean, unless you're like a master creative writer, which I am not, um, you just can't feel emotion through text. And I told Andrew that right off the bat in our conversation. And, you know, unfortunately, I got sick and I wasn't able to make it to the expo, but I was going to make him an offer there. Fast forward a week, uh, you know, I messaged him. I said, hey, you know, what are you asking for this? What, what, would, what would it take for me to take this home? He said, give me a day. And he got back to me the next day and he gave me a, a good number that, you know, Taryn and I could both live with. I told her, I was like, look, this is the deal of a lifetime. I'm going to Canada tomorrow night. <laughs> so I worked all day Thursday, came home, tried to take a nap, but I was super excited. Um, I ended up leaving the house at midnight, getting to Easton made at seven o'clock in the morning. And I tell you what, the people in the office at Easton Maid are, they do an outstanding job. Uh, Sandra, she took care of all of the border paperwork for me going in and out of the country. Um, it was, it was phenomenal. Uh, when I went up, I almost feel like the border knew I was coming up. Um, they asked me where I was headed and it was funny cause the guy that was asking me questions, you know, where I was coming from, where I was going. He said, uh, oh, you're going to Easton Maid. Did you buy something? And I said, yes, sir, I did. He said, you know, you bought one of the best world splitters in the world, right? I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> but then, uh, you know, went up there, picked everything up. Uh, originally, I didn't want the one with the conveyor. I wanted gourds from GP Outdoors. That way I could just simply set the axis right here in front of my 916 and then I could just push the wood into my conveyor and it would just take up a little bit less of a footprint but we worked some things around over here and I think this will work where I could still back my trailer underneath this conveyor and if it doesn't work I'll take the conveyor off but I doubt that's going to happen but yeah originally I didn't ask for the one with for the with the conveyor um but when I got my emails when I agreed to the price with Andrew uh Henry said hey you know the one we have ready has the conveyor on it and I was like, all right, maybe he just, you know, it was a miscommunication. And uh, I got up there and I was paying Brady, come back out. This was hooked up to my truck. And Andrew wasn't there yet because I told him I, originally I was going to be there between eight and nine. And when he showed up, I told him right away, I was like, look, I'm not trying to get over on you. This is not what we discussed. And he said, well, do you want the conveyor or not? And I said, well, if you're going to give it to me, I'll take it. But if you can get more money for this machine with the conveyor, I'll take the other one. Um, dude, super nice guy. He said, you know what? Just go ahead and take it. It's already hooked up and uh, this is the one that's ready to go. But coming back across the border was a breeze. Uh, Easton Maid hands you a packet and it's got a barcode scanner on it. And you simply hand that to the border patrol and they ask you where you were coming from, what you, what you did, you know, what you got uh, and where you're headed. And they're pretty much just verifying what's in that packet that, you know, you're you're coming from where you came from and you're going where you're going. It was a breeze. Um, I did, I think it was 970 miles and 16 and a half hours round trip. I was boogieing, I was excited. Um, I normally don't like to drink energy drinks, but whew, I was all bipped up on some uh, monster coffee energy drinks. But I'm going to fire up my 500i real quick. I'm at least going to cut this piece of hickory here I believe that's what this one is. I'm not really, uh, I don't really understand hickory. Like, I don't know what it looks like because I don't get it very often. But I'm going to try and get this cut up real quick and then I'll uh, put a couple pieces through this axis so you can see how it works. So today we're using the AccuMark because I don't know where my permit sticks are. Actually, they're in my truck. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> 
running out of room over here to even work now. This is one heck of a load of wood.
Well, I'm kind of in a rush today. It seems to be the uh, theme of things amongst all these channels. Everybody is super, super busy. Uh, Brad was supposed to bring this last week, but he had issues with his grapple truck. And we all, we all know he has been having some crazy issues with that truck. But it's up and running and it's doing great. I finally got my uh, axes dirty after being here for six days now. Uh, you guys will see a lot more of this in upcoming videos. But it will definitely make some nice square precise pieces. And uh, that's what I got this for. Um, you know, Brad keeps talking about it. A lot of people keep talking about it. They want to get into more bundle woods and bundle sales. And that is something that I decided I wanted to approach, you know, coming up in the future. I don't think I will go 100% bundles, but uh, we'll see what happens. But now I've got the means to make nice pretty wood. And man, it's a good pile of wood. But that is going to be it for today, guys. I uh, have to go in here and get this edited up, get it uploaded, thumbnail and title and description and all that good jazz, and i got to go to work tonight. Uh, but I'm super excited. I finally got some wood. I'm super excited I finally got an axis. Oh yeah, say hi to Jake. I don't know where his head is now. He's over there hanging out. Right here taking him for a walk in the sunshine. Let him get some good uh, vitamin D. You guys have a uh, great rest of your weekend. Stay safe, take care of each other, and I will catch you back here next Saturday, 6.30 a.m. Hey, go back and watch some of these videos. It's probably right here or right here. They're uh, good ones. See you guys. Thank you.